How's it going? I'm Officer Fernandez, Mikasuki Police. Stopped you because of your speed, okay? You were approaching me from the rear at 100 miles an hour. down by one of the customers here saying that there is a intoxicated individual here causing some sort of a disturbance. I got eyes on the subject. Because the first responder footwear, the brand I trust is Heights. And my go-tos are the Black Eagle Athletic Low. These bad boys got a comfortable fit like a tennis shoe. Great from warm weather, wet weather, or weather weather. They're anti-slip, they dry real fast, and they're super breathable. Subject running. And now I get to show you my favorite feature. <laughs> Activate rocket boots. Rocket boots! So there's two ways you get your hands on a pair of these. You can visit www.hikes.com or subscribe to their YouTube channel on Hikes, then comment done on this video. And you'll be eligible for a giveaway, oh yeah. Time to get some back. And remember, heroes wear heights. Good, you know. Pro tip, if you're looking to get something for somebody who's having a baby, maybe you're a little bit later, you missed a baby shower like I did, go with diapers. Babies need diapers. I mean, even if they're registered at a store or something, they're gonna need diapers, trust me. That's why if you ask anybody who has kids or second time around, they're just like, we don't, we're not doing a shower, just send us diapers. And get one because everyone's gonna get newborn. So get size one. All right, that's a pro tip right there. Part two. part two, but before we start, I got something for you. All right, come with me. There you go. Ah, <laughs> there you go. It was oh, your baby shower, these, bro. and I missed your baby shower, so there you go. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. All right. Need a lot of these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Today we're on the alley. On the alley, Broward County. Broward County. Well, first things first. What gives? Why? Why are you in a new car? Well. The other vehicle I was using, the, the Explorer, yeah. that got reassigned to another traffic unit officer. They ordered me a new Explorer. So it's right now it's at the shop. It's getting built, it's getting all the lights, siren, okay. everything put on it. So in the meantime, they got me in the ghost vehicle. This vehicle is actually a pool car yeah. for the traffic unit. Yeah. So it's like a spare in case any of our traffic unit vehicles break down or whatnot. We go ahead and we pull this one because it has all the tools we need to conduct traffic. So yeah, this is just the pool car I'm using for now. So uh, numbers are good on the last video, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Five. We broke 100,000 views in less than a month, so doing real good. With that being said, a lot of people asking, are you guys hiring? We are. Police officer uh -huh. and we are hiring uh, dispatchers. So if you're interested in any of those two positions, you're going to go to MikasukiPolice.com. All right. That's M I C C O S U K E E. But I put it right here, guys. Oh, <laughs> even better. There you go. <laughs> so, if you guys are interested in becoming a Mikasuki police uh, officer, go visit the website. You can apply there. Today, we're going to be out. We're going to take a look at a little bit of the jurisdiction and uh, we'll do some traffic enforcement out here on the alley, yes? Yeah, we'll do a couple stops out here. More or less the same as the Miami Dade. Uh, corridor that goes to and fro the yeah. west coast yeah yeah a little bit of the same uh, uh traffic uh, as far as dui interdiction like a little bit of narcotics things like that speeders yeah. speeders definitely out here because it is an interstate um when we were out on the uh on the trail speed limit there for most of it was yeah. 45 and then it'll jump back up to 55 out here interstate 
you're gonna get the interstate speed, which is 70. 70. So out here, 70 miles an hour. Now, being a traffic unit, of course, I get triple digits. Triple you know, digits. All day. All day. <laughs> all day, man. Well, it's a long drive. It's like 75 miles straight shot, and it's more or less, it looks the same. So after a while, people are like, uh, I just want to get off of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> they start picking up oh, yeah. triple digits, and you guys are what, in the heart? Like right there in the middle? We're more or right less? in the middle of the alley. Right in the middle right of the alley. Right in the middle. What's the mile marker? Uh, we cover on I-75 from mile marker 44.5 to Collier County line. Okay. And we also have right here, being in the alley, we're, you know, pretty desolate from everything. You have to have a fire rescue station. So right. VSO Fire is right there. They assist us all the time. Pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty cool jurisdiction out here. And, yeah. Uh, excited for part two. <laughs> part one was out of control. Out of control, man. <laughs> out of control. Uh -huh. I'm digging the little spot here. Where are we at? This is called the L28 off of I-75. It's mile marker 48. It is cuts underneath the I-75 for us to make U-turns and go back north or south. Tell me what we're driving today. So Nick, today we're driving, like I said earlier, this is the pool car. Uh, this is a 2019 Ford Taurus Police Interceptor. Slick top, has all the inside lights, lights on the grill, and the ghost decals on the side. So you can only see the decals when there's light on it. These four big antennas on the top, that's actually the load jack system. That's gonna tell me if any vehicle that has load jack and has been stolen, the load jack system on their vehicle is gonna go ahead and signal. My antennas are gonna go ahead and pick it up and it's gonna let me know where that vehicle is. So give me the vehicle information, tag, make, model, all that. In the back of the vehicle, we're gonna have more lights on the inside, some red and blues back here, no decals on the back, and we have the license plate lights uh, blue and white. So you already mentioned that it has low jack. What other equipment do you have in here? So this one does have a half cage. Uh, like I said, it's different from the Explorer. The Explorer had the full cage in the back. So it does have the bars here, just like the Explorer in case anyone wants to try to kick out the window. It's not going to happen with this one either. I have my front antenna here for the radar. The computer right there, which is going to tell me front and rear speeds as well as my speed on the right. I have my computer, my radio, my siren and light box right there. Up the top, I'm gonna have the low jack system up there. It's gonna tell me about any stolen cars. That will automatically read to me. Uh, make, model, tag number, and vehicle color. And on the headrest of the passenger side, I have my printer. That's gonna print out any documents I need, any arrest reports, police reports, and of course, the citations will print out there too. All right, guys, so Mike was saying, don't attack them for the vehicle being a little dirty. You want to explain a little bit? I know what happened. So what happened was, as you know, there was a storm. Right. It came by yesterday. Yeah. I was working. You get water, you're going to get some dirt, man. It's some dirt, dirt some and bugs. bugs. Yeah, <laughs> the bugs come out. Dirt and bugs, man. So right. I apologize. Don't the vehicle hate. is dirty. I forgive you. Be nice. From Bradenton. I can't hear you. What? Well, you know you can't do that, right? Negative. You need a tag to drive on public roads. 
Just a bill of sale on a title. Can't do that. Ran the VIN, so it still comes back registered. Like I told him, if I would have run the VIN and it came back not registered, it is a arrestable offense. That would have been a criminal citation. I could either give him a criminal cite, which would be a mandatory court appearance and a misdemeanor, or have the discretion to arrest him physically and take him to Broward County Jail. This guy seemed like a cool kid, never been in trouble, not giving me any issues. He legit showed me the bill of sale. He did buy the car today. He showed me the title. Everything he's saying does come back legit. So I went ahead and gave him the verbal warning. I advised him he needs to you know, have a tag in order to drive on the, on the road and that he needs to find an alternative route to get that vehicle transported back to his house. <laughs> Sorry, right? It hit, hit 100. It's gonna be the guy that's right behind me on my lane. So not the guy on the right lane. It's gonna be the one that's approaching me. He's at 96, 97. And he's gonna pass me. So the ghosted out vehicle. Ghosted out, and this guy passed me. I got him at 100 approaching me. And as you saw, he just went right by me. How's it going? I'm Officer Fernandez, Mika City Police. Stopped you because of your speed, okay? You were approaching me from the rear at 100 miles an hour. You have your license, registration, insurance. Citation is going to be for speeding. All right, it's going to be for 100 and a 70. Let me have your signature right here next to the X. All right, all the information that I just explained to you is going to be in that blue pamphlet. Okay, and you have 30 days to make a decision. Well, actually, not to make a decision, but you're going to have to call the courthouse. All right, there's a phone number in that pamphlet. Go ahead and give them a call, and you set up a court date. All right, you have any questions for me? No? All right, just watch your speed for me, okay? So, because uh, I was getting some B-roll of you <laughs> sitting, missed Missed a couple. Missed a couple. Not gonna say how fast, but oh no, <laughs> could have uh, could have stopped a couple people. Oh yeah. I guess it's Sunday, right? Same concept. People from the West Coast headed back right. over. Yeah. The white car. Yeah, that white car coming up right now. Yep. It's a monster. Southbound on 48, California tag 8, Alpha, Sierra, Lima. I'm Officer Fernandez, Megasugi Police. Stopped you because of your speed, okay? I got you at 98. You have your license, your registration? Yes. I'm sorry? So I just need your license, registration, insurance, okay? Getting a ticket for 98. 98, yep. 
1970. Or you can choose from the other two options, okay? Do you have any questions? Just watch your speed a little bit, okay? All right, take care. Now where are we headed? So I'm taking you now to the Mikasuki service problem. That's over on Snake Road. Snake Road, we're actually getting off right now, exit 49. Uh -huh. This is the one and only. The one and only. Gas station <laughs> on Alligator Alley. Yeah. Brand new. Uh, opened up about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a Tesla charging station now. Fancy. Fancy, very fancy. Yeah. We have a, like a cafe where they sell sandwiches, food, and, you ready? I'm ready. We got a Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah, it wouldn't Dunkin'. be police work without a Dunkin' Donuts. You gotta have that Dunkin', man. It's official, it's an official police jurisdiction now. Oh yeah, all yeah. day, man, all day. Uh, all right, Nick, so this is the end of our jurisdiction here on Snake Road. At this point, we have reached the Big Cypress Reservation, which is part of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. And right behind me, we got a gator. Yeah, baby. Right in the canal. All right, look at that. Came out here for jurisdictional purposes and got a gator. God dang. <laughs> All right, guys, so right behind us over here is a hay water spout. And we're just kind of waiting around and see what it does. Looks like it's retracting back up. It started to make its way down. Yeah, we're just gonna keep an eye on it, you know, make sure if it does come down, that way it doesn't pick up any debris and we could avoid traffic from passing through while it comes down. Yeah. Just in case. It's contemplating. It's like, I don't know. It's like, should I do it? <laughs> Have you seen a lot of tornadoes out here before? It's my first one. Hey, you see that? <laughs> Something always happens when we're out here. Always. It's gone. Went back up into the clouds. A little excitement, huh? A little excitement, yeah. All right, so now it's starting to rain a little bit. Helping them out in the rain because uh, they ran out of gas. Okay. So one of your officers out here assisting, helping out a stranded motorist. Yeah. So apparently this guy ran out of gas on the side of the road. Uh, officer Echeverria noticed it and did the uh, driver a courtesy, taking him to the gas station, getting some gas, and now he's here helping him. So it's not always about writing tickets and getting arrests and all that, you know. We're public servants, we're here to help. That's one of the many things we could do. Mike, we should tell them what happened. I mean, it's starting to happen right now. Yeah. All right, so we were out. This was another day. Obviously, I'm wearing no sleeves now. It started pouring rain where we were at and we had to call it a day yes so we just said let's reconvene another day let's come back on shift and we'll do it again this is actually our first stop an officer was getting off a shift it's like hey can you guys cover for me yeah absolutely this here another traffic unit officer uh pulled this vehicle over this driver here did not have a tag on the car vehicle was not registered uh claimed to have bought the car in hialeah and just didn't have the paperwork to back it up for it. So we're gonna try as soon as it's done to uh, pick it up where we left off. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try. All right guys, so, so this is the Broward uh, section of the Mikasuki jurisdiction. What we're gonna do now is head back down to the day. We were trying to show Alligator Alley in the Broward, but as you can see in the back, it's storming right now. And it doesn't look like it's going to let up. We checked the radar, so we can't get washed out twice. So we're headed back to Tamiami Trail. Let's go.
All right, ma'am. So here's your information back. It's going to be a citation for the speed, okay? Okay. Like I told you earlier, I got you on the radar, my okay. rear radar. Okay. At 74, okay? This is okay. 45. Okay. All right? So there's going to be three options for the citation. You could pay for it. You could do a traffic school online. If you do traffic school online, yeah, I will. you will not get points on your license. Yes. Or you can contest the citation in the Miami-Dade Courthouse. Mm -hmm. All right? All the information is going to be in that pamphlet, and you have 30 days to make a decision out of the three options. Okay. You have any questions for me? No questions? No. All right. Drive safe, okay? Remember, 45, yeah. all right? Thank all right, you. take care. So as you can see, Nick, we have some driveways from here that they come out from the community. So from time to time, we come out here, we enforce traffic. Reason being is because if our community members come out here and this being a highway, people drive at a high rate of speed, it's not going to be good. So we come out here, we enforce traffic, slow everyone down to protect the community. All right, you got us out of the car and we're getting destroyed by mosquitoes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, what are we doing out here? So I pulled over, Nick, just to show you. <laughs> that you're getting eaten up I'm by mosquitoes. I'm getting bit, man, I'm getting eaten alive. So, as a, an officer out here, highly recommend off, yes? Yes, yeah. 100%, man. All right, so what we got behind us? So we got behind us, uh, this is a stationary radar. Yeah. Um, what it does is, it obviously it picks up the speed of the cars that are approaching it. Uh, it has the speed limit sign 55. All right, if you go above 55, what it does is all the lights turn blue mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll tell you your speed and that will deter you from speeding. Is there like a video recording and you send them a ticket later? No, no, no. Oh, this is just to notify them. It's hey, just to notify down. them. Yeah, hey, slow it down. And as you saw in the last vlog, it's important yes. that everyone slows down. Very dangerous out here. Very dangerous. As you saw, we had a traffic fatality. Yeah, in the so last that. vlog. So, all right. Let's keep it moving. We're getting to eat alive. Oh, yeah. How's it going? How are you? Very good. Very good. Did you get excess velocity? Yes, I didn't see it. Yes, yes. Here it's 55. Sí, ok, te cogí, te cogí en 78. ¿Tiene la licencia de registración y seguro? Sí, señor. This driver was speeding and my radar picked him up at 78 miles an hour and a 55. Went ahead and conducted a traffic stop in the gas station and he will be receiving a citation for the speed. Va a tener tres opciones. Puede pagar la multa Puede ser una escuelita online para no recibir punto a la licencia o lo puede llevar a la corte. Show me online. Uh, be advised, I got flagged down by a patron here in Day Corners reference A35 at pump number seven. Can you start me a chrome unit, please? So we got flagged down by one of the customers here when I'm on this stop saying that there is a intoxicated indiv individual here at pump seven uh, causing some sort of a disturbance. So. This is technically outside of our jurisdiction, but we're in the area. We're going to respond, check it out, and see where we go. All right, they already started a county unit to come over here. How's it going? Yeah. So what happened? I don't know. On, on the elevator highway coming back. I got a flat tire, so I said, well, fuck it, I'll pull it in here, get some gas, call my brother. My brother's calling now, he's coming to get me. Okay. It happened like about 10 miles down the road, but I figured, well, fuck it, I gotta get to the gas station. Maybe I can at least get there. Okay. So I got here. You been drinking? A little bit. A little bit? How much a little bit? Three drinks? One more time. What time? Seven o'clock. Do me a favor, lean. Let, let's go over here. So you're leaning on this guy's car. This way. You already called the uh, county unit, Miami-Dade? Oh. You can lean on your truck. 
lean on it. You know, I'm not gonna lean. Babo, turn around and relax. I said lean. All right, give me a few minutes. Let me talk to them real quick, okay? Can you check with County and see if there's any uh, 18s that are holding? Reference this gentleman's vehicle. He's riding on a rim and a little bit of damage to the vehicle. Can you check with them for me? All right, I'm gonna make contact with the uh, the uh, employee here, real quick, see what's going on. What's up with the guy outside? Where's the female that was, the female? That works for Because she was flagging me down, but I don't know where she went. So, ¿qué pasó? Tú me querías hablar afuera? No, 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 era él. Que su hermano lo estaba llamando. El hermano? Ajá. ¿Dónde está el hermano? Él dijo que ya venía en camino. Ahí dejó el teléfono. Oye, el teléfono. County is five negative. They don't have any calls referenced in 18. They're not holding anything for an 18. So, what happened? He was drunk. He said that he was going to get out of here. He didn't say anything. He said that he was going to get out of here. He said that he was going to get out of here. He said that he was going to get out of here. No, no, no. He was going to get out of here. No, no, no. He was going to get out of here. And then we were talking to his brother. Yo no sé qué fue lo que pasó y entonces la llanta la, se la reventó y eso, pues estábamos buscando una grúa para que le muevan el carro, porque no, pero no todo lo que le Ah, ok. No, okay. todo está tranquilo. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. So I went inside, I spoke to the store clerk real quick, and she basically told me that this gentleman driving the vehicle, he came inside asking for help because he blew a tire. So right now we're just waiting for the county to respond and take over. This, so this gas station technically is on the border of your jurisdiction. So. Yeah, this is right outside of our jurisdiction. This belongs to Miami Dade. So, county's arrival now? Yeah, they're arriving. So, we'll so basically, you're just going to let them, yeah, as I was saying, yeah. you let them know what's going on, and then it's up to them what they want to exactly, do. Exactly, exactly. All right, let's go. What's up, man? How you been, bro? Oh, hey, so, real quick, um, this gentleman blew a tire. He went inside. But, but that, but that's how you found them? That's how I found them. I didn't find them driving the car. Okay, so he did somebody, mention to me that he was drinking. So, but somebody flagged you down, huh? So yeah, I was on a 19 right over there. Somebody flagged me down saying that this guy intoxicated, being a little disorderly, whatever. Um, and oh, to he check was it out. Disorderly. He wasn't That's what the patron told me. I mean, yeah, the patron told me that. One of the, the one that flagged me down. Okay. I went inside, I made contact with the clerk. She told me that he wasn't being disruptive or anything. He that? just went inside asking okay. for help. So, Nick, as you saw, county arrived and they went ahead and, and took over because that is not our jurisdiction. All right, so now we're just uh, gonna go back out. It's getting late. It's getting uh, late. Videos should be about done now. Should be. So, I think uh, we have enough. All right. All right, day two. We had to come out two days to do this vlog. Two days, man. End of vlog two. End of vlog two. Good one, showed a little more. We went to the alley and showed how big the jurisdiction is that it could be yeah. raining on one side of the jurisdiction and dry as a bone <laughs> over here. Yeah. The only thing is I got bigger mosquitoes on this side of the, the jurisdiction. Mosquitoes on steroids. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? We got another vlog coming up with Mikasuki PD. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but I think we might be out in those Everglades. I'm not sure, Deep. maybe we'll maybe. see. Make sure you go to their website. Megasukipolice.com. That's where you can apply, submit your applications, and if you have any questions, you can contact them there. And always follow them on Instagram. What's the handle on Instagram? Megasuki Police. Pretty simple. Simple. <laughs> and on Twitter. Don't forget Twitter. And, and on Twitter. With that being said, there's nothing left to do but to sign off. So I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. All right. And I got this weird light on us here, but I feel here, like I'm on a this? disco. There was a male with a large stick twirling around like a ninja.